Hello everyone, my name is Joey here for DFB and today we're going to talk about Disney World bars and lounges, one of my favorite topics to discuss. I've got about 15 that I want to tell you about, there are favorites on property and I can't wait to share them with you, so let's get started. First up, we're going over to the Polynesian Village Resort to Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace and Grog Grotto. The Tiki Terrace is outside, it's open to everybody, and the thing you have to get here is called a Spiky Pineapple. The Spiky Pineapple is basically a rum spiked Dole Whip drink. It's all blended together kind of like a smoothie and it's really really good, especially if you like Dole Whips. Now, like I said, Tiki Terrace is outside, there's lots of live music at night, a great view of the castle, a good view of Seven Seas Lagoon, and also the volcano pool, so this is a really great spot. But a lot of people just use this spot to wait for a table at the Grog Grotto to open up. So when a table at Grog Grotto opens up, you might have a buzzer to let you know when that happens, especially if the Grog Grotto is really full. And you're gonna head inside the Polynesian to this rather unassuming doorway and head on into Grog Grotto. Now, this is first come, first serve, so anyone can walk in. If there's a table, you can take it, and if not, you'll have to wait. So this is a very small space, very themed, and of course this is themed to Trader Sam on the Jungle Cruise, so you'll see lots of fun Imagineering details here. And very fun things happen in this particular lounge, especially when you order certain drinks. Like for example, if you order the Krakatoa, there will be a volcano eruption. You can order the Dark and Stormy, and there may be some storms going on outside the window. And if you order the Aoa, you may anger the goddess above, so be prepared. Lots of fun here, and we do love this spot overall. It gets really busy though, so try to get here early. Next up, I'm going to talk about another new lounge on property called Abracadabar. And Abracadabar is at the Boardwalk Resort, so it's on Disney's Boardwalk. There are a couple of themed drinks here you can order, like the Conjurita, for example, which actually changes color when it's stirred, and a couple of other drinks that are very magic-inspired and magic-themed, and I think you're really going to enjoy this one. And be sure to look around. It doesn't really look like there's much going on here, but if if you look at the decor element, you may be surprised. So this one is really fun. Next up, we're headed over to Animal Kingdom to Nomad Lounge. This is another brand new location that's right at the edge of Pandora. And this one is themed to travelers, and of course there's that African feel to it. Good food here, great bartenders here, and decent drinks. Kind of fun themed drinks also to traveling and adventure. So this is a good one to go and relax. The best part about Nomad Lounge is the outside seating around the deck area with a view of Pandora. Honestly, I could just live here. I wish I could just string up a hammock and stay here all day. I love this outside deck, and I think you will too. Now we're headed over to River Roost Lounge, and this is located at Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside. And we don't often recommend going to the moderate resorts because they're so far out there, and really a lot of them don't have excellent, excellent food. But here at Riverside, and also French Quarter next door, you've got some great food, and it makes sense to head over to these places if you can. So River Roost is the lounge for Riverside, and what's really, really fun here, besides some really interesting menu items and some good drinks, is Yeehaw Bob. And Yeehaw Bob has been performing here for years and years and years, and he's a piano player and a comedian, and he's a blast. Usually he's family friendly, so you can bring your kiddos to see him, and a lot of times people will build an entire evening around Yeehaw Bob's show, so definitely check him out and see when he'll be performing on your visit. He actually has his own website, so if you Google Yeehaw Bob, you'll be able to find his performance schedule as well. He usually performs four nights a week at River Roost. All right, now we're going over to Disney Springs to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, and we've talked about this one before, another brand new bar and lounge. This one is also first come first serve like most of the bars are. Very rarely will you be able to make a reservation or even get a buzzer for these spots. So Hangar Bar is in Disney Springs. It is Indiana Jones themed, and if you're not familiar, Jock Lindsay was Indiana Jones' pilot, and there's lots of fun things to look at in here. Lots of theming, lots of Imagineering going on in here. The menu is great, and the drinks are even better. So be sure to go hungry and thirsty, absolutely, at Hangar Bar. A fun thing about Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar is that there's actually a hidden R2-D2 because, of course, George Lucas was in charge of both the Indiana Jones and the Star Wars franchises. So ask your server where the hidden R2-D2 is and you'll find that. And of course, we can't do a Best Bars and Lounges without talking about Cava Del Tequila. La Cava Del Tequila is in Epcot's Mexico Pavilion. Those of you that watch our videos regularly have heard about this place many, many times. We love this place. It's dedicated to tequila and margaritas, wonderful ingredients that are imported directly from Mexico. They actually go and choose their own barrels so they know exactly what they're giving to you. And they're often innovating and creating brand new drinks, brand new margaritas. They even have a Negroni on the menu right now. 
now. It's very cool. It's a very small location and you can get your margaritas to go, but we always recommend going and finding a table because it's nice and cozy and cool in there and we love it. All right, we're headed over to Hollywood Studios to Brown Derby Lounge. Now, Hollywood Brown Derby is a signature restaurant, but they've added a lounge outside. This is all outside, so be aware that if it's raining or if it's super hot, you'll be outdoors with the lounge. This is a spot where you can order some of the favorite items from the menu, and they also have some fun drinks here as well. We can highly recommend getting the margarita flight or the martini flight here, and of course, they now have dessert trios, which a part of the dessert trio can be that great grapefruit cake that Brown Derby has been famous for for many, many years. Okay, it's time to head over to Cruise Cup Lounge. This one is in Disney's Yacht Club Resort. This one has been a favorite for us for years and years. It doesn't get very crowded in here unless it's nighttime and people are waiting to get into the Yachtsman Steakhouse next door, but I've always found that the menu here is excellent and the bartenders here are wonderful as well. So this is a great place to escape from Epcot or even escape from Hollywood Studios and just tuck in and have a relaxing hour in the Cruise Cup. Back over to Disney Springs, we're going to talk about Morimoto's Forbidden Lounge. This one's more of a sushi bar than anything else, but you can order a late night menu here that's really, really good. And of course, you can order items from the Morimoto Asia area here as well. Be sure to keep an eye out for interesting drinks, seasonal drinks, and fun menu items as well. And now it's time to talk about Jelly Rolls. Jelly Rolls is one of my favorite places in Walt Disney World, and a lot of people don't even know about it. This is a piano bar. It's a dueling piano bar located on the boardwalk. Now, this is a 21 and over location, and there is a cover charge to get into Jelly Rolls, but it's worth it. There are a bunch of piano guys who play throughout the week, and the piano players start at 8 p.m. You can request any song you want. They know how to play everything, and they're showmen. It's just so much fun to watch. The drinks here are... Meh. Yeah, they're pretty meh. And the food here is pretty much non-existent because all you can really get here is popcorn. But there is a full bar here. You can order whatever you want. And every night they have drink specials. So be prepared for that. But the bottom line is you're going here for the show. You're going here for incredibly talented piano players who can play anything from Lady Gaga to Beastie Boys to Journey to Bob Dylan and anything you can dream up, they can probably play. So that's really why you're here is for the show. All right, over to Mizner. Lounge. This one is in the Grand Floridian, of course, and I love this place because it's just chill. The place is relaxing, has a great view out onto the Grand Floridian property, and it's got a really nice menu because the menu here is often appetizers from Citrico's next door, which is a signature restaurant. So feel free to come hungry, order some great food, order up some drinks, and again, the bartenders here are exceptional, so enjoy yourself at Misner's Lounge. Now, Rose and Crown Pub. That's where we're going next and it is in Epcot. This is part of the Rose and Crown restaurant of course, but the pub, a lot of people don't realize you can just go into the pub. They have a pub menu, you can order the food here and of course there's Carl the bartender who's like our favorite person in Epcot. He's just absolutely wonderful and he he used to be a gator wrestler. Did we tell you guys that? Yeah, he used to wrestle gators. Crazy, right? But now he's at Rose and Crown and he's been there for a long time and he's the best. So go say hi to Carl from DFB if you see him and if you don't see him it's okay because you can still order some really great food here get here early though it opens at 12 so you want to get here early otherwise you're not going to get a seat this is a great place it's often very crowded but wonderful British food I know some of you don't think the British have some really great food but we do our favorite right now is the battered banger and chips really good we also love to get a cider and black and there are just really great things on the menu so enjoy at Rose and Crown all right Tambu lounge I know we've talked about it like a, a million times, I know. Why is it great? Well, not for the location really, because it's kind of tucked into a corner and there's not a whole lot of seating. But the reason why it's great is for that Bananas Foster Bread Pudding and the Lapu Lapu drink. You wanna get those. Also the pork nachos, you wanna get those too. And really that's, that's what you wanna get at Tambu Lounge. And that's really what makes it great is the food. Now, Territory Lounge is over at Wilderness Lodge. This is hooked onto Artist's Point, another signature 
signature dining location. And this place has always had exceptional food and it's a very cozy lounge as well. It really is one of our favorites because it's relaxing, it's chill, it's cozy. You can almost always get a seat and the menu is off the charts. They have exceptional stuff here. So please go plan to have a dinner at Territory Lounge. It's so good. And finally, I'm going to talk about Tudo Gusto in Epcot. This is a hidden little wine cave of a location. You can order the full menu from Tudo Italia next door. Lots of great wine flights here, amazing imported cheeses and meats. Definitely make some time in your Epcot schedule for this if you love lounges and love great food. Okay, so that's it for our best Disney World bars and lounges. And oh, here's a quick FYI. A lot of the time at Disney World bars and lounges, kids are welcome. Very few of them are 21 and over, so bring your kids. And also note that a lot of these places feature items from the signature restaurant next door, the signature restaurant that they're connected to. So this is a great way to get some truly exceptional food without having to have an advanced dining reservation. So I hope you've enjoyed. Let us know in the comments what some of your favorite bars and lounges around Disney World are. And if we've hit a couple of them, let us know what some of your favorite experiences are and what you love to eat and drink. Now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see here next. Once again, for DFP, my name's Joey. We'll see you real soon.